Hi everybody, this is Sean Fallon from Dickinson High School, and today's Crash Course video is going to be a overview of the new Infinite Campus platform. Um, usually when we introduce new technology or programs at our school, it looks and sounds something like this. But fortunately for all of us, we're not using a new version of Infinite Campus. All we're really doing is learning how to navigate and upgrade um, to the platform. Uh, none of your data or your grades will be affected in any way, and the functionality of the platform is still the same. Um, the new look that you're going to see when I open up the new, um, the new portal is going to be on the first page only. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of just bounce back and forth between the old and the new and show you the differences in the two. The three main tasks that we're going to focus on today are the simple things that we do every day. We're going to take attendance, we're going to give a kid an assignment, and we're going to grade that assignment. Um, you know, there are some other notes that we're going to go over, um, but today's kind of just for the basics, just so that you know how to navigate it. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is log into my old Infinite Campus, and what you're going to see is the same view that you see every day when you use this, you know, for the past three or four years since we've been using it. Okay. First thing you see is the message center. Uh, this is where we have all of our school announcements. And on the left-hand column is where we have all of the things that we use uh, on a daily basis. Our attendance module, our grade book, um, you know, and the other things that we use. The new version is going to look like this. Okay, so right off the bat you can see that the, the first page is different. Okay, the message center is gone and it's been replaced with a control center. Okay, the good news is that the left-hand column, you know, although the colors are different, it's the same exact things that you you um, you were seeing before. There's a couple other tabs down here that are added, um, you know, for some attendance reports. Before we had to kind of fish through each class and and put together the attendance reports a little bit differently, uh, you know, the grade reports and that kind of stuff. But um, for the most part, this is all the same. So. The first thing we're going to do is take attendance. Okay, the reason that these two choices are on this control center first page are because these are the things that we use the most. Okay, we take attendance every period, um, you know, and we give and grade assignments, you know, basically on a daily basis. Okay, so to take attendance, as soon as you open this, all you really have to do is go right here to this attendance column and click on the class that you're in. Okay, so if I want to take attendance for my first period class, I'll just click on take, and you'll see that this is going to pop up on the right. Okay, this is a little bit of a different look. Uh, I'm going to show you the old look in a second, but you can figure this out pretty simply. Okay, all the choices are still the same. Students are either present, absent, or tardy, and you're going to click this all the way down. Uh, you know, when you're finished, you're just going to click on save, and that's going to be the end of it. Okay, attendance is now complete. I'm going to close this tab, and it's going to show me how many kids are in and out. Okay, you do this all the way down the line. If you have any confusion or problem with this or you don't like using this format, all you have to do is go over here to this left column and click on attendance. And what you're going to see is the same exact view and version that we've been using for years. Okay, most of the stuff in this left hand column, when you click on it from here, it takes you back to the old version. Okay, I only went to this workshop yesterday um, and what they explained was that the reason for the upgrade was that the old version of Infinite Campus was not very compatible uh, with some of the programs that they were using uh, on the middle and lower grade levels. Okay, so this left-hand column will take you back to what you're used to seeing. Okay, if you'd like to take attendance this way like we always did, that's fine. Attendance, and then you get your old view back. Okay, you would do attendance the exact same way. All right, I'm going to go back to the Control Center, and I'm going to show you the Assignments page. Okay. Over here on the right column is where you're going to give and score assignments. Okay, On the old Infinite Campus, the way we did that was to go over here to the gradebook. Okay, and we would click on add. Okay, so this is the old way of doing it, and in a minute you're going to see that the new way of doing it is almost exactly the same. Okay, into the new version. If I go to my assignments column here on my control center and I click on score, what it's going to do is show me all the unscored assignments. Okay, so this is good for me so I can keep track of, 
you know, things that I still need to grade. Okay. You can sort this data three different ways. You could look at it at, at the unscored assignments. You could look at your all of you could look at all of your assignments, and you can look at assignments that are missing. Okay. If you don't like this view and you want to look at the old view, like I said before, okay, just go over here to your gradebook, and what you will see is the same exact version that we had last time. Okay, you can add your assignments the same way we always did. Um, I'm going to talk about some new features for the assignment detail, you know, adding in a minute. But those are our two ways to look at our assignments. Okay, we could look at them from the control center, or we could look at them through the same way we always did, which is through the gradebook. Okay. Um, as I said before, the new look is on the first page only, and um, there are some upgrades that are going to help us uh, make our, our daily life a little bit easier. Um, one of those is what I'm going to show you now. Okay, this is the new version. I'm going to go back into the old just to show you something that was a little bit of a pain in the butt because it was just a few extra steps in adding and grading an assignment. Okay, when I wanted to add something in the old version, I would just type in the assignment name, the abbreviation, and it would allow me to choose what sections I have. Okay, for a teacher that teaches the same class five periods a day, this is great because you would just click on all sections, it would highlight all of them, and you would have to just do this one time. Okay, the problem came in when you had teachers that were teaching multiple different sections of classes in different courses, um, and then you'd have to do this over and over and over again. Okay, so the new version is going to allow you to basically add assignments in groups and, and bunch all of your same course sections together. Okay, so when you go to the add button on this new version, you'll see that it, the top is the same, okay? But you can also go to this add remove tab, and it gives you choices of all your classes, okay? So like for me, for example, I teach uh, US 2 and I teach world history. At the beginning of the year, there are several different assignments that we give um, that are the same for both classes, you know, teaching kids different ways to source documents and, you know, teaching them the difference between first-hand and second-hand sources. Um, these are lessons and material that are able to cross over from one history course to another. Okay, so I would be able to just add any course that I wanted to add by scrolling through here, okay, and give them the assignment. Okay, so it makes it a little bit easier for you to... Um, for you to add and remove assignments for all of your classes instead of having to do it one at a time. Okay, um, let's do uh, sample assignment one. Okay, so we'll just do number one. And you see we're here where it says assignment default. That doesn't light up, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but everything else from this point on is pretty much the same. Okay, I'm gonna give a date that I assigned it. Okay, today's the 27th. It's going to be due, let's say, Monday. Um, instead of having to open up the next window and choose my categories and my scores and stuff, you can do it all from here. Okay, the category for this assignment is going to be a, uh, we'll call it a quiz. Um, it's going to be graded during this marking period. We're going to do it by points, and the total points are going to be 100. Okay, this is all the same as we used to do it. It's just on one page instead of having to go from one to the next. Okay, so I'll save this assignment. And there you go. Okay, so in here in my grade, you, my, my assignments, you'll see that number one is right here. Um, and it's the same way as we did it before. Okay, so please don't panic. Please don't think that we're asking you to learn something new. This is just an upgraded version of something that we've done, you know, many, many times before. Uh, lastly, for all of our iPad users, um, just be aware that when we do transition over to the new format, uh, probably right around November 1st, okay, this is going to be happening pretty quickly because of all the problems they're having at the elementary and middle school levels um, with, uh, I think it's Go Math. Um, because we're upgrading and doing this so quickly, your iPad might not be updated. Okay, so what we're seeing or what we're hearing about is that people are trying to open the new format with their iPad and... Um, they're getting boxes that overlap. Okay, so these two sections might overlap. It might make it hard to see. You might open up the attendance portal and having this like this piece over here overlap your whole page. 
And to fix that, all you really have to do is update your iOS. Okay, on your iPad, you're going to go to your settings tab. Um, and in there is where you'll find all your system upgrades. Just make sure that your iOS is updated. Uh, and if it is, then this will work perfectly on your iPad. Okay, so that's really going to be it for today. Uh, I just wanted to go over the basics for a few minutes just so when this does change, you don't have any problems. Um, if you like seeing the messages that we see every day, uh, school announcements and stuff, I like that stuff because it keeps me up to date on what we're doing in the building. Um, your message center is right here. And remember what I said about this left-hand column. Okay, Anything that you click in this left-hand column will bring you back to the old version. Okay, So if you want our message center, here it is. If you want to do attendance the way you used to, there it is. Um, and the rest of this stuff is kind of stuff that we're going to explore, you know, individually and see if we want to use it. Okay, you can create your seating charts the same way you always did. Um, you can create student groups for projects and stuff like that the same way we always did. Um, and that's basically it. Okay, if anybody has any questions or problems about this, um, you know, the, the workshop we went to was only an hour long and it was a basic, basic overview. Um, but you can email me at sfallon at jcboe.org. Uh, Mr. LeBoy was also there, so you can contact Mr. LeBoy. Mr. Gordon was there with me, uh, and Mike Byrne was also there. So I'm sure any of those guys would be happy to help you, uh, you know, navigate the new platform. And um, we wish you luck, and uh, have fun with the new version. Thanks, everybody.